Jenny Kenner with Purposefully Catholic. It's January 5th, 2021. We're coming into a new year. We're ready to become a better you, a better us, a better me. I'm going to just for a moment skip over all that right now, and I'm actually going to look forward into Lent. Now, just bear with me. I know that seems like it's a little bit of a stretch, um, because what does Lent have to do with the new year? A few years ago, my husband did a program called Exodus 90. Exodus 90 is a 90-day spiritual exercise for men. It focuses on getting rid of all the distractions in your life and saying no to yourself so that you have space to say yes to God. So there are many different aspects to Exodus 90 that he did, but the part that I participated in with him was giving up TV for 90 days. So that starts at the beginning of the year and goes all the way through Lent. Um, And what I found is that all of a sudden, I had all this time. I was saying no to one thing, to TV, and making room for things in my life that I thought I didn't have time or space for. So fast forward to this year, and we decided to sit down with our kids. We stole this idea from a family friend of ours um, and go over the highs, the lows, and the goals that we had for this coming year. So our highs from last year, uh, there were many. It was very surprising to see how blessed our 2020 was. Obviously, uh, the lows were the pandemic and many other things that happened in our life in 2020. uh, And then we set some goals for this year. Now, my husband and I decided that we were going to do Exodus 90 family style. If you look into Exodus 90, it is pretty intense. So we weren't going to put our kids through a whole Exodus 90, but we thought we'd soften it up and take some of the concepts from it and do an Exodus 90 family style. And we were going to begin that with giving up TV during the week. Our kids really liked the idea of giving up TV during the week. you know, surprising us. Uh, They also surprised us by adding in a few of their own ideas. Right now we're doing one meatless meal a week. They decided we could give up a second night to have another meatless meal, one of those always being Friday, to remember the sacrifice that Christ made for us on Good Friday. They also wanted to add in an additional family rosary, so going from one family rosary a week to two family rosaries a week. So at the end, they really loved the idea of making space, saying no to something in order to say yes to God, to say yes to the things that God had in store for our year, um, being really intentional about the way we spend our time so that we can do some things, grow in our relationships with not only God, but with those around us, um, do some fun things things that we haven't had time for in the past. Maybe it's a craft or a a new skill. I have some girls that are really wanting to take driver's ed. So just making space and time for that. Um, Our goal at the end of this was to be very purposeful and guiding our children in being purposeful. Like I said before, saying no to something makes space in our life for God and all the good things that he has planned for our year. So whether it's through Exodus 90 or another avenue, I really encourage you to start your year with thinking about Lent as a model. What in your life can you give up or maybe alter in some way to be very purposeful and intentional on making space for things like keeping healthy or your relationship with God or guiding your family towards a more purposeful and intentional relationship with God? With Purposefully Catholic, this is Jenny Kenner. I'll see you at Mass. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click the links in the description below to access more Purposefully Catholic content. Be sure to like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until next time, let's live Purposefully Catholic.